God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Ever. Amen. Welcome to another beautiful Saturday, where we dedicate our prayer time together to our Blessed Mother. We are on our third week of breaking open the Hail Mary prayer, and today we hear from Father Michael. Thank you for being with us. Morning star, so strong and bright. In our ongoing reflection of the Hail Mary prayer, today I'd like to reflect on the phrase, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The actual phrase comes from Mary's encounter with her cousin Elizabeth, when Mary and Elizabeth greet each other, both as expectant mothers of a son, one a prophet, the other the Messiah. Elizabeth sees Mary and says to her, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. At first, to hear a child referred to as fruit of the womb may seem a bit odd. However, it's not that unusual. The first time we come across this phrase is in the seventh chapter of Deuteronomy in the Old Testament, in verse 13, where it is written, He will love and bless and multiply you. He will bless the fruit of your womb. Again, though it may seem at first unusual to us, in this simple phrase, we are made aware that these are women of great faith and great knowledge of their faith. In fact, so much so that Elizabeth goes on to say, Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled, acknowledging the fidelity of Mary and her role as mother of the Savior. Elizabeth knows that calling Mary blessed means that Mary has found favor with God, that she is filled with God's grace as the bearer of the Savior. And we know that as mother of the Savior, She is then the mother of the whole church. We then discover that the scripture passage from the first chapter of Luke, from which comes this greeting of Elizabeth, is then responded to by Mary as she proclaims, My whole being magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In humility, Mary acknowledges her role and the favor the Lord has shown her, entrusting her to be intimately involved in God's plan of salvation. Now, when referring to Jesus as the fruit of Mary's womb, I can't help but better understand the church's title of Mary as mystical rose, budding forth life through the power of the Holy Spirit so that she might provide for the whole world 
its Savior, Jesus. What a beautiful way to think of an expectant mother's child as she gives life, the fruit of her womb. And particularly in this example, because the life of Jesus will nurture and give life to the whole world. Each time we have the privilege to pray the Hail Mary, we must remember the events of sacred scripture that give life and meaning to the tribute it pays to Mary, as well as the blessing we receive from repeating these words to honor her. May we too remember that by our baptism, we have found favor with God, and that each time we give witness to the Lord, we too will be bearers of great fruit to nourish and nurture the faith and life of our brothers and sisters. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Confident that he will hear us, we ask. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the path that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Christ, our Redeemer, you made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of the Spirit. Make us bearers of your Spirit in mind, heart, and body. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Calling to mind all of our intentions, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Come to help us in our weakness, God of mercy. And as we celebrate the memory of the Mother of God, May we rise from our sins by the help of her prayer. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, there has not risen in the world among women one similar to thee blooming as the rose, fragrant as the lily. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O Sacred Virgin, hear the song of my praise. We beseech Thee, O Lord, that the heavenly intercession of the ever-glorious and blessed Virgin Mary may protect us and conduct us to eternal life. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God watch over and protect us in blessing this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for praying with us today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as we break open the word. Tomorrow being a super special day for me and a little boy named Noah who gets baptized and I get to be his godmother. I'm so, so blessed. So prayers for baby Noah and his family tomorrow on the day of his baptism. Thank you all for being such a beautiful prayer community. I love being able to count on your prayers. And I love being a part of this family. Thanks for all you do. And thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.